adventure. Rhapsody, the musical adventure. Somebody has his pizza, so he should be occupied for the next few hours. <laughs> Fingers crossed. If I'm too loud or too quiet, please let me know and I will adjust the whole thing accordingly. I should be doing a thing, but I'm sorry. He's just too entertaining. <laughs> Something about my cat that... He's stupid, but we love him. <laughs> Anyways, there's a ball going on. Gotta go get me a man. Hi, Grandpa. So, your candidate to be the princess, prince's bride. My, my, how time flies. Yes, yes it is. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna get me a man. Prince fan club letter, blah, 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 blah. Miss Merrill's contest, the winner of this year, yeah. <laughs> I am one of them, thank you very much. The winner of this year's contest are Miss Atoll with her third win in a row and Miss Cornette, one of our club members who was last <laughs> least expected to win. <laughs> it's been special qualifications of leadership for judges' consideration. Those two have been chosen as the queens. Here's what Miss Atone Rosen Queen has to say about her third win in a row. These girls are so pathetic. <laughs> Why do they even bother competing with me? <laughs> I wasn't even trying. We then asked her how she felt about being selected as a candidate to be the Prince's Bride. She simply returned with a mysterious smile. Now the two candidates, Atone and Cornette, will go head to head. Who will you cheer for? Uh, probably the underdog, please. Please me, please. Yes, it down. Mork! Oh, I'm sorry, wolf. Wolf, wolf. Wolf, wolf, bark, bark. Ooh. We gotta heal. Before we do anything. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Ooh, I got a lot. Um, I have cat paws here. Any ouch, ouch. But you don't know how to drive. Meow, <laughs> meow. Maybe if you hit your head hard enough, you might become smarter. What, you little? Maybe if I hit you hard enough, it might make your face more pleasant. Damn. Ugh, oh, why do I... Why must I be surrounded by such cretins? Caw, caw, cretins! Cretins evermore! Caw, caw, caw! Better shut that brain of yours up before I do it myself! Meow, ha <laughs> ha, you're probably the dumbest one here, Cradia. Oh god, please forgive these lower vermin for their insolence. They are simply jealous of my beauty. It's only natural that they act this way. Are you done talking to yourself, Claudia? Stop this bickering! You're giving me a headache! Yes, Marjola. Ahem. <clears throat> Cute. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, please let me introduce myself. My name is Meridroy, mistress of magic and everything in between. A few days ago, one of my followers were her was harassed by a member of the royal family. And I've come here today to pay that person a visit. Does anyone here know anything about this? Now too many people would get involved if they start a tech. Marjolly, Marjolly, Marjol. That's the guy. He's the one who picked on me, you know. Okay, let me see. Ah, uh, Marjol? She's not moving, guys. I think she's dead. Rage finally caught up with her. Oh, Marjol. He is so handsome. <laughs> A wooga! <laughs> Interesting. Caw, caw, Majoy has got the hots evermore. Hey, Majoy, whatever happens to getting even? Shut up, forget about it. 
Can't you see I'm in love? I'm in love with the prince. Mwah, hey, little boy. Do you want to play with me? What are you up to, witch? Bing. Oh, playing hard to get, I see. I like that in a man. Rawr, I'll take care of you later, big boy. So, good night for now. <laughs> Turn my mind to stone. Oops, my beloved has turned to stone. No, I messed up! <laughs> I used the wrong spell! Oh, well. Yeah, <laughs> spells are supposed to be the only thing that Majora is good at doing. Guess we were wrong, meow. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first one are youth, and now our magic ability do. What's left? Gosh, shut up, all of you! Take the princess of the castle so I can think of something. Yes, Majora. Hey, oh, what do you guys think? <laughs> Where do you think you're going, old maid? Oh, who are you calling an old maid, huh? Don't do it. And a one and a two. Old maid. Old maid. Old maid. Okay, everybody, all together. Old maid. <laughs> you. Stop singing along with them. Yes, my job. How dare you make fun of the greatest sorceress, Mother's Kingdom? You'll regret this. All of you, get him. Yeah, I don't feel like it. Oh well. Now, why don't you do it yourself? <laughs> Just get rid of them! Yes, my jaw. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, boy! <laughs> she has sent my egg to Jesus. Oh, well... Any attack! <laughs> of course. Of course they miss. Well, shit, son. Hi. How rude. <gasps> go in it, go in it. Oh, how did you see that, girl? You should know better than to pick a fight with the mighty Major. Yeah, meow. Majal is the oldest witch in the land, you can't possibly. Shut up, how many times do I have to tell you? It's day on my ears, pretty. Let's go. Yeah, Majal. Wee, 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 my, my prince. Cornet, Cornet! Beep, 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 beep. Prince, no, watch out. Huh? Oh, it was a dream. Are you alright, Cornet? Yes, you should stay in bed. Oh, I guess it wasn't a dream. Oh. Cornet, what in Merle's name are you doing? Cornet? Going on a journey. I don't save my man. Journey for what? Don't tell me you're going to rescue the prince. <laughs> yeah. Cornette, I'm talking to you. Yeah? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, she says. Are you crazy? I think you've been blowing your horn too hard. Do you realize how difficult it is for you to rescue the prince? I have to fight with that dreaded witch, too. I'm gonna save me, my man. <laughs> Hashtag skip! Kuru. Kuru. Well, I know you won't listen to me, so I'll have to go with you then. Let's see. Bandages, ointment, lamp, and some cosmetics, maybe. 
Aw. I was hoping for a singing number. Kuru, thank you. I don't know what I was hoping for. I know this game. I was hoping for a singing number. Oh my god. I love her adventure outfit. Oh, I shouldn't forget this holy charm that the prince gave me. Alright, I guess I'm ready. Well then, let's go. Okay. I adore her travel outfit. Her actual main voyage outfit. It's my absolute favorite. I've been wanting to dress up as Cornet for ages. I just don't know. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, Grandpapa. You don't need me to tell you. You don't need to tell me. I already know. What? Guru has told me everything. I knew you wouldn't listen to me even if I tried to stop you from going. So I went ahead and told old Grandpa here. You want to save the prince? Go to the town of wisdom and blue cat. An old friend of mine lives there. I'm sure he can help you. Probably take a ship from Mother Green to get to blue cat. Realize you've become so much sure. No wonder I'm so old. Listen, Cornette, come back any time when you get tired. Remember, this is your home. Yeah, thanks for everything, Grandpa. Me, me, me. Kuru! Get calf, Cornette. Yeah, yeah. Don't I always? You worry too much. Well, we better go now. Where's the prince? Read the fan club letter. News flash during a party at Merrill's castle. A beloved prince was kidnapped. Evidently, the prince was turned to stone and taken by four witches of the Rajol family. Let's pray for the safe return of our beloved prince. We'll keep you updated. Is there more? Wow. Cat picture. Does that mean that we have to bring a cat? Oh dear, sweet Cornette. It's hard to believe you made it this far. Oh, a toll. Oh, and her henchman. Oh, bringing a cat, she says. Isn't that the funniest thing I've ever heard all day? Oh, Cornette, if anything, you're always good for a laugh. In a dumb country bumpkin kind of way. Well, enough with the pleasantries. Listen very carefully, Cornette. Cat's picture represents a cat's eye, a special stone from Blue Cat. The hole next to it is where you put the cat's eye to open the gate. I can't believe you can't figure that out. I can't believe you can't figure out something so simple. It's a right, Conant. Not everyone can be as smart as me, don't you think? Uh, yeah, whatever. What are you doing here anyway? Don't you have a broom to catch? Ow! <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Anyway, if you really must know, I'm going to get even with Majora. She's gonna pay for what she did to me. No one messes with a toll. Rosin Queen, no one. So you're gonna help us? <laughs> oh, you two are so funny! I hope you weren't under the impression that I was going to help you. Why don't you. Why don't we bet on who can save the prince first? Then why did you give us a hint? Well, if you really must know, it's not fun to comp compete with someone that. for something that I'm going to win anyway. Well, do your best. Not that it would do you any good. Ta-ta for now. Ah ha ha! God, this bitch. Don't you have to go to the tower too? Take a leap. She showed up just to tell us that. Gotta admire her, you know? <laughs> that means... Yeah, let's put that jewel we found earlier in the hole. Put the jewel in the hole. Put the jewel in the hole. Okay. The gate open. Hold on, I gotta look at this map. long maps. <laughs> Ten years is a long time to wait, but I guess better late than never. 
Well, it seems like someone in your party was smart enough to figure this out! <laughs> Sir! I would see you, but now know this. Knowledge alone will not see you through. You value your life, you should leave. Good thing I don't value my life! <laughs> Sir, calm down. I'll have you know, I have a confusing map right here. <laughs> Welcome to map, my name is Confusion. Okay. Uh... Okay. Then it doesn't matter which direction I go to, I just gotta go this way. And I'm a run around, and I'm a run and run and run and run and run around. Fifteen years is a long time, and it gives you such a crank of the neck. Come so far, well done! My name is... Polonsky. Polonsky, I don't know. I always wondered how big and strong Great Sage will look like. Ah, he's just an old man. I never admitted to being a Great Sage, so what do you want? Why well, you must have a reason for coming up here. Yes. I need your advice. I see. So you want to save the prince. Mm -hmm. Willing to risk your life and him in order to save the person you love. I remember when I... <sighs> oh, what? Yeah, 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 whatever. Just tell us how to get the prince back in shape. Mm, you youngsters are so impatient. All right, all right. The spell that was casted on the prince is an ancient spell. In order to undo the spell, you need the five heart stones first. Water stone, fire stone, earth stone, wind stone, and thunder stone. And then you make Captain Planet. I mean, they are useless by themselves, but together they are very powerful. But the stones have been scattered all over the kingdom. There are other things you must do, but find the stones first. Understood? Mm hmm Okay, if there's anything that you aren't sh sure of, come back and see me. I'll write you a letter so the queen will let you through the suspensive bridge. And this ring will let you come up here from the first floor. Teleport ring. Thank you, Mr. Sage. This is great, Cornet. Getting worried that there would be no way to undo the spell on the prince. By the way, I was wondering, are you really a puppet? Puppets shouldn't be able to talk. Who, me? Of course, I can talk. That's because Mustaki is the greatest puppet. Did you say Mustaki? The Mustaki? Yeah, why? Mustaki. Now that's a name I've never heard of in a long time. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's doing fine. Really? I figured so much. He sure was a tough one. So, he finally perfected that ancient technology. Impressive. Um? What? I was wondering. How do you know, Mustaki? What's the connection between you two? It was a long time ago. He was my rival and a good friend. Sorry, I asked. Huh? Why? When you get an old man to talk about his past, you get his whole life story. <laughs> yes, this was about 18 years ago. Give or take a few months. See? Once upon a time, when Merle's kingdom was invaded by the country of Kalman Madman, Starkey and I were ordered by Galmanzo Gal to resurrect the ancient weapon. Oh, this is going to be painful. Oh, look at the time. We gotta get going, Cornet. What? But, but... Stocky and I were able to resurrect the ancient weapon and drive away the e enemy, but it was too much for us humans to handle. So we sealed the ancient weapon without telling the king. 
king soon found out and had us relieved of our duties. So when Bastaki and I lived as hermits away from the castle. Alonzo had tried to use the ancient weapon to gain power. That's why your mother... Huh? Oh, young people have the attention span of rocks. <laughs> Get a coming, coming, combination when I tell Master Meow Meow. Eh? Oh, Meow. Meow. Oh, that cat dead. Oh, that cat dead. <laughs> that cat, he. Yo, know, I'm about to have a healer do a retail job. And it was all fine and dandy, and like, but they kept trying to give me more hours than I was supposed to. And then when I actually got hired in, like, they treated me like dirt. Like, that store was a literal revolving door. Oh, what do you want? There's no place for someone like you. Go home. Mm, you aren't that bad at all. You're actually pretty cute. Oh, yeah, 19 an hour? Pfft. That's what my mom does. She packs and picks car parts. Hey, since we're alone, you wanna, you know? I, uh, I was told by, M I was told by Miss Karen. Karen, Lady Karen. <laughs> I was like, I was coming. Please don't tell Lady Karen about this. <laughs> God, what a stupid. Oops, shit. God, I wish I got paid that type of money, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I don't get paid shit. <laughs> eh, it has its ups, it has its downs. I mean, you're working for like 12 hours. You can't... It's one of those posters with a girl on it. You can't. I make, and you would not believe this, five dollars. I'm making five dollars a month. For fuck's sake! <laughs> I had to read the dead dude's journal to be able to make this cutscene happen. Walk through, what the fuck? <laughs> you said nothing about this. Did Karen make us take this kid on to the sunken ship? Just as well. I wanted to see where Lebrisky died anyway. What was that? Turkif, did you say something? Oh no, I was just thinking how dangerous it would be. If we are going near to save someone, it would be worth it, but for someone who's already dead. How dare you say that? You left my son to die! Well, that's what you were thinking. I remember that day so clearly. I'd never seen such a storm. Holding on the pole, barely keeping myself afloat. When I looked up, I saw the Le, uh, Benny drowning near me. I stretched, I stretched my hand as far as I could to grab him. But the next thing I knew, he was gone. I see that dream every day, every single day. I close my eyes, and my world is nothing without you, bro. I often wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. The Benny was. I loved him. I loved him like any man would love a man. Benny, oh my son. He's like, no, nah, fuck y'all. Ah, oh, yeah, sunken ship time. This is the whale, bl whale buster, whale buster. With me, the sick ship. Oh my son, where's my son? I don't know, Captain. Pity, I'm sorry. I wasn't strong enough to save you. I should have been the one to drown. Well, too late for that. Hey, Kiru, what should we do? I really don't want to be here right now. What are you talking about, Cornet? The Waterstone is here somewhere. Besides, if you haven't noticed, we're sitting on the bottom of this ocean. Unless you start learning to breathe water, we're stuck here. Yeah, but... But what? You do want to save a prince, don't you? You're right. We've come this far. I can't quit now. That's the spirit, Cornet. Just smacked a pooch. And he died. <laughs> ah, I got no power. Because I didn't eat my Wheaties! I didn't eat my Wheaties! 
That's not the reason. The way it works, I guess. Yeah, cowboys on the mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're abusing your power too much. Shut up. I won't let you get away next time. Remember that. <laughs> Can you toss me over your shoulder? Oh, she's gone. Is she... What is she gonna do? Swim all the way home? Ah, oh, she's a pretty fast swimmer. Scary. Alright, good luck. Come and see me when you have any problems. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Please give me a garage, the Lady Karen. Yo, we about to have a long conversation with Lady Karen. <laughs> have you ever wanted to... Oh my god, have you ever wanted to chew out a Karen? Always wanted to do that. I'm gonna be honest. I am that bitch. I am all bark and no bite. Okay, I am all bark and no bite. Like on here, I'll fucking sting it up for myself and people, but in real life, I'll be like, I'm timid. <laughs> Please don't hurt me, I'm timid. Ooh. <laughs> Not you, Saint. I can't hit you from there. Can I make a Saint? I can't fucking. So you want to get far away from Karen's season. Have instant karma. Oh my god, instant karma. Hit me up with that. Yeah, let's all crowd around. That's a smart idea. Can I even hit you? There we go. Is there a little old thing in my way that does not allow me to smack you? Yarn. Can you say it, please? There you go. He has one hit point left. Please, for the love of God, murder this man. <laughs> Here's my mouse. I want to build up my other characters, but apparently Duke keeps fucking dying. <laughs> and the bunny's no help in the situations. <laughs> like, for fuck's sake, my guy. Alright, I'm gonna go return the ring and then probably call it a day. Your man loved you. He always loved you. Ah, you came back safely. Anyways, here's the ring. Thank you for everything. You helped me keep my promise. Now Mary can have a brand new life. Gonna save the prince, right? Whatever you do, never give up no matter how bad things may seem. Oh, thanks for the advice. Yo, your girl loves you. Can you just <laughs> move on from your man? <laughs> your girl is trying to tell you, hey, your man's dead. Let me slide into your DMs. <laughs> Let me take you up on that. Let me take you up. Ugh. Two fights and carrots getting lost. <laughs> it's not a carrot stream unless she gets lost. Ugh, oh, that was good, honestly. And again, this game is on. This game is on, um, normal. And I can still do everything, you know? Thank you, everybody, for joining me on this adventure, so following along in the chat, coming and going as you please. I love having you here. I love hanging out with you guys, you know? This is one of those games that I played when I was young. I'm pretty sure I've seen it on the DS, and I just, I can't get enough. So, let me send you off to somebody else. And, uh... Did the cookie cry because his mother did? Oh, love her so much. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow, Bob. And I'll see everybody else tomorrow, too. Alright, bye!